Lionhearts, your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you live from Madrid once again, but not for long. We're actually hopping on a bus and heading out of here. Today we are going to spend our day in Toledo. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. This should be a lot of fun. A friend of mine who's been to Madrid quite a few times highly recommended we come here to Toledo and I actually get six hours to roam the city, so this should be great. We're catching the bus over at Plaza de España. All right, we made it to Plaza de España. I tried to show you guys this yesterday, but they had a big truck out here power washing it, so all you could hear was just a, a power washer going nuts. And the water was off, so now we can see the water. Bueno, ahora vamos a pasar, mirar ahora también a la, a, la, a la izquierda. Si ven a la izquierda, if you look at your left, podrán ver el puente que la verdad es desde el siglo. Well, we have arrived in Toledo. Let's go explore the city. So there's a little bridge that you can cross. I want to go take a look at it. We're just making a quick pit stop for photos, but curiosity. Look at the doors to the bridge. It's like, it's all metal, but it's like patch metal. Well, I'm on my own. It's sprinkling a little bit, but I want to go check out the main gate and go roam around inside. Finally, we found the main gate. Carlos V. This used to be the capital city of Spain. What beautiful architecture. The whole city smells like food. Ooh, good food too. So there are a lot of mosques and monasteries and convents and everything here because various times this was run by the Carthaginians, then the Romans, the Muslims, and the Christians. So let's go to a mosque. All right, let's go on in. the old remnants. And here you can see what it's made of. Let's go roam the grounds. Pretty good view from up here. They don't have all sections of this open, but I'm just showing you what I can, you know. He 
Anybody feel like trying a burger out of a vending machine? Come on, it's gotta be good, right? You'll notice the benches right here in this little hangout in town have Don Quixote scenes. I love that architecture. Look at those Moorish, almost keyhole openings there. I have not had anything to eat yet today, and I haven't had the ham yet. Let's get that. So I bought the smallest one that you can buy just to try it, because that's not necessarily what I wanted to have for lunch, but I do want to try it. The sandwich is really good. Same as this art. And that is all part of the real Alcazar, which is now the military museum. And now we've made it pretty much all the way around the real Alcazar. One of my favorite books, Don Quixote. They were telling us on the bus here that the uh, Spanish nobility would use Toledo a lot because of how narrow the streets were. It would help contain and keep the um, weather the same, the temperatures the same. I actually thought that I had seen every kind of centerpiece idea you could come up with and this is a new one. And there's the theater, Teatro de Rojas. Now over here I believe is the cathedral and I want to see that but I also want to see something that's like an underground city, like Hercules Caves. This is the Santa Iglesia Cathedral. We're gonna go inside. Look how gothic that is. Reminds me of being in Sevilla. This is a big one. This was 10 euros to come in and tour. Let's go see what this line's for. So cool, look at all the cherubs up there on the organ. That is beautiful. Let's go take a peek inside. Looks like we can go in here as well. <laughs> Let's go down here and check this out. Down here are all the cribs. So inside here are the remains of a Christian princess who was making a pilgrimage and was captured by Attila and the Huns when he demanded that she renounce her Christianity. She refused and refused to marry him, so he killed all the virgins and that's her body that happened back in 451. And the remains have been passed along to popes and various royalty and now rest here in a controlled environment. Wow, that was heavy. Thank you. 
it's El Greco. Courtyard here. Unfortunately, for some reason, the Caves of Hercules closes today at 2 and it's 1.52, so I don't think we're going to make it. See, there it was. Well, I guess let's check out the Roman remains then. It's all below us. Look at that. Remains from the time of Jesus. It's pretty interesting. Wish they didn't have the glass. I mean, you have to have the glass here, but it makes it harder to see everything. Look here at the walls. That is very cool, especially for free. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what's in the shops here, some of the local shops. Oh, well, apparently it wasn't even open today. Look how interesting the walls are outside the Cave of Hercules. If you notice up there, there's like seashells and all kinds of things in there. Ornamentations, and look at that. Hey, that's worth it to me just to see this.